Okay. So many people come late. Okay. Sorry. Not a problem. Okay, we're up to we're up to uh your dollar on the days. Your dollar on the days. We're discussing the thickness of a lechi. Yeah. We're we're learning the little nishmas, the little nishmas and the shpach of Yehuda Horowitz that was killed in the Holocaust. Hashem Yenakim Estama, Naftali Ben Moshe Kalman, Esther Bas Yosef, Golda Bas Naftali, Rif Goleya Bas Naftali, Yerzeit Hey Elul, they were killed in the year Tovshin Bays 1942. Okay, um, we saw the the, the thickness of, of Alefi, we saw the height of Alefi is, is, is ten Tfachim, it's ten Tfachim, that's the height. Regarding the thickness of the width, we said that's it was a culture. We said it was even the the breadth of a of a of a of a, of a coat, even a coat. It was it was really nothing with nothing, with the exception of Rabbi Yaisi. Rabbi Yaisi said it's three tefachim by three tefachim. Again, I draw your memory, fellas. Picture sixty nine, chutz katana going to the chutz gedayla. We said that the the, the the dimensions were the the chutz gedayla was one amma more than the chutz katana. It was one amma more, and the fact that it was one amma more was simply because you needed three tefachim on the side. So this is the sheet the wad of 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 Rev, uh, Rev Yaisi. Now I I just have to I'm going to pull up the I'm going to pull up the Pirish Chai here because I I forgot to do it beforehand. I'm sorry. Let me, let me pull it up and bear with me a minute. I should get it going. Okay, and he said he said yesterday he said the the the, the shear was he said it was it was uh, it was three tefachim. The question is is uh, at ten twelve lines up. Rabbi Yisroel met Rachman Gimel tefachim. The the shear. Of the lechi is gimel tefachim. Amar Rav Yosef, Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, ain't a lochah k'reb Yosef. The lochah is not in conjunction with Rav Yosef. We don't pass in that way. It can even be a, a kol shehu loy behilmi. <laughs> Hilmi is we had a discussion with the Shabbos regarding mixing, making salt water on Shabbos. Remember, it's a, a salt that can be associated with the with the av melach of tanning. We had a shaila whether you can go ahead and make salt water on Shabbos that you may come to go ahead and pickle stuff in it. Yosef said that you can't do it. Loy behilmi, loy. Bil Chayayin and not in what regarding Lechi that it's a Kol Shul and not three Tefachim. Amr Rav Huna Barchinah Behilmi Armin One. So it said Rav Huna to to to, uh, to Rav Yosef who didn't recall saying it. He said Bil Bil Chayin Loy Armin One. By Hilmi you told us that the Halacha is not Rav Yosef. By Lechi you did not tell us the Halacha is like Rav Yosef. Maybe the Halacha is like Rav Yosef. Maishna Behilmi. What's the reason Hilmi the Halacha mixing of salt water is not not the Pligi Rabban Alei. The Rabbanon argue, and we go achrei l'rabim. You go after what the majority. So therefore, if that's the case, the chayai nami pligi rabbanon lecha. Regarding the the thickness of the mob of the lechi, the rabbanon also argue. So therefore, in that in this, that case also, we should go ahead and say that the lecha is not like Rabbi Yosi. So why by tell me were you so sure, and you were questioning why why by by, by lechi the lecha could be a conjunction of Rabbi Yosi? Why why is that the case? And for the Gemara, I'll tell you why. It is shiny lechi mishum dekoi Rebbe kavasei, because Rebbe passed like him. Again, I take you back to the picture of the chutz katana going to the chutz gedayla. Almost ten, almost eleven. Eleven amos is six fachim. You need three on each side. That we wanted to come out according to Rebbe. So since Rebbe is supporting Rebbe Yosi, therefore Rebbe Yosi did not go ahead and teach them the halacha was not like 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 uh, Rebbe Yosi. That's the difference between a lechi and Hilmi. 
even though the majority by 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 uh, Lechi as well says Mashahu, since Rebbe went in conjunction with Rebbe Yossi, therefore Rebbe Yossi was not quick to go ahead and pass in the halacha like what, like um, like like uh, Kenegi Rebbe Yossi. That's one lashon of the Gemara. Rabbi Rechumi Masli Hachi, I'm Rabbi Yehuda. He learned the following lashon. Rabbi Yehuda, brother of Shmuel, by Shilas Mishmei the Rav, ain't halacha Rebbe Yossi. The halacha is not like Rebbe Yossi. Loy behilni, loy belchayin. Not by only regarding mixing the salt water, and not by the thickness of the the width of the of the lechi. Amalei Armit, did you, you said this that the loch is not like Yosi regarding that? Amalei, loy, I never said it. Amar Rava Elokim, Lashon Shrua, Evans to Betsy. Amar Yitaka said it. The Gemir Nolamine, right? Umai Umai Taima Kahadabe. So if you if you say that the loch is not like Rabbi Yosi, why did you change your mind and say the loch is like Rabbi Yosi? You should Rabbi Yosi in the Mukoy Imay. In the Gemara, when it goes ahead and get, the Gemara goes in and speaks about the certain virtues of Psak, and, and we say the, the Mishnayis Rebbe Laz ben, uh, ben Yaakov is Kavinaki, you know, there's certain people who say certain things, and, and it says Rebbe Yaisi, it says Nimuko Imoy. Rashi brings Taimi Rayas Mevilei Bechom Mokan Mesech He goes ahead and, and brings Rayas. He brings Rayas to everything he says. And Mesech Tukin, Mani Shvach and Shal Chachamim, they're going ahead and recounting the praises of. Various tanoim, zel shvachos shal biyosi in the mukla imoy. So can zayin the halachas like a biyosi regarding a lechem, regarding the, the width of, of, of a lechi, whether it has to be three shvachim or not. Amalei rabba of chana lebaya hilchas amai. What's the halacha? Amalei poik chazi my my ama my ama. What do they do? So ikad demasi lo aha. We said go and see what the am does. In other words, whenever the nam is noyig, that probably was the psak. So they went out and, the, and they found that the people were noy bechol shu. So therefore, the psak was not like Reb Yaisi. Ikin demasi aha hashoyes lemayin l'tzomai. Someone drinking water because he's very thirsty. Oim mishakol niyebit baroi, like we do. Apart from neimer, you make a bracha rishoyna boring the flesh as rabbis for kesvanon al kol mashabara. So we go ahead and make a nach bracha, a bracha achroyna. The parvin suggests it should be the far bracha, the bracha rishoyna for what for for shahakol. Amalei rochan alabayi hilch semai what's the lacha? This line of a late because he might um a double go see what the am does. So, so my, what do I do? Obviously, we see we make a shahakal and we don't make a bari the fasha till afterwards, not not earlier. Okay, now this is a very, very famous sugya, a very famous, famous sugya because it's part of the Yal Kigam, according to some opinions. According to some opinions, this is the Yal, yal Kigam. Yeah, this is the Lam and the Yal Kigam. Guys, usually you have the following you have a Mavoy. So, the people in the Mavoy, you, you have a guy in charge, you have a super. He would go to the mother. We'd, we'd have a Vami Weinberg, right? A Vami Weinberg is, is, is he, he, you know, a Vami Weinberg used to be the maintenance guy in Camp Tarver, uh, in Camp Aguda. He used to do that because he made sure everything was hunky dory. The so, nose, the nose. With the girls? Yep. Uh, why would anyone want to do that for a living? Anyway, says the Gemara. Don't know. Yeah, neither do I. Me too. I also work there. <laughs> Who? Baruch? They, they let single guy? Yep. Okay. I slept to our good though. I hope so. Now, says the Gemara Vaita. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I began discussing this. Anyway, so you have over here, you have a Mavu. What would you do? The guy, Avrami would go to Shabbos and Baruch would help him. They put up a Lechi, they nail it in, boom, that's a Lechi. The purpose of the Lechi, they knew, they, they knew the size of the Lechi and they knew the purpose of putting it. Is to permit uh, if it's a it's a uh, alleyway to permit carrying in that alleyway on Shabbos. Let's say it's a lechi that is a natural lechi. It wasn't put there the shame lechi. It's a tree that's growing there. It's a building that happens to be there. A projectile of a of of, of bricks that happen to be there. It's a lechi habam me'elav, oim me'elav. It's standing by itself. Is that a good lechi or not? Or do you have to put it there the shame lechi? That's the discussion the machloikus between Rava and Abaya. Itmar lechi oim me'elav. Says Rashi, it was not kaveya there, it wasn't set there to be the purpose of being the It wasn't it wasn't prepared for that. It wasn't prepared for that. So that's the that's the, the subject of discussion. A, a lechi that wasn't prepared for a lechi, but happens to end up being a lechi. What's the din? It wasn't prepared for that, it wasn't used for that, but it ended up being that way. What is the din? So Abaya Amar, Havi Lechi says Abaya, it's a good lechi. Rav Amalai Havi Lechi says Rabbi, it's not a good lechi. Now. Where you weren't Sunday yet, Shabbos, 
says Rashi, Shohaya Shom Lechi, Achev, and Nafel B'Shabbos. In other words, you weren't slamming on it. Why? Because there was another Lechi. In other words, Rashi is bothered by a question. If you weren't slamming on it, meaning it wasn't there, or you weren't slamming on it, it, and if you weren't slamming on anything, of course you can't carry. So it had to be, says Rashi, beautifully, that there was another Lechi that you would slamming upon, or else there wasn't a ticket in the first place. Very subtly, Rashi gives you a beautiful shot, guys. Rashi is telling you it had to be that there was another lechi because if there wasn't, there was nothing. So therefore, there was another one that fell down. So now you have this relief lechi. You're calling in from the bullpen, right? You're calling in from the bullpen the, the lechi. But this lechi was not what prepared for that. So says the Gemara. Keep hechi the leisam chino la meetmo. You weren't being slimed on this because you put up another one. Kuliamale pligi lehavi lechi. Because we were slamming on the other one. Ki pligi hechi the samchim la meetmo. When you were slamming on it, you didn't put it up, but you said, no, it should be the lechi. Abai Rama havi lechi. Why? There's samchim la meetmo. Since we were slamming on it from the day before, even though it was naturally made, it wasn't made the same lechi. So asmicha can go ahead and shop it in lechi. Rav Rama lechi lechi. Rav says it's not. It does not have a din of a lechi. Why? Even that may occur since initially lav adaite the hachi abidi. Since initially it wasn't made for this purpose, since initially it wasn't made for this purpose, it, it could be a tree, guys. It could be a, a pole. It was. It wasn't made for a purpose. It wasn't made for lechi bricks. It was made for something else, right? I'd like to the hochi avidi loy havi lechi. It's it's not it's not what it's, 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 it, it's it, you need. I don't know if you need a shema, but you need a lechi that was the purpose of a lechi, kind of. I, oh, it has to be before Shabbos. Now, kisav kadaytoch. The same achloikis we have by lechi, they have by mechitzas. So, guys, listen outside. Let's here's the here's the foreshadow what we're about to do. We're going here. The assumption is just like Abaya and Rava argue by a lechi that happens to be there by its own standing. Excuse the pun. So too they go ahead and argue by mechitzas, and therefore Rava would say it's not a good mechitza. And Abai would say it is Gemachitza. And now we're going to go through the Tanoic uh, positions and different prices and Mishnayas. And we're going to ask, we're going to ask based upon that, with, with the Havamina, that the Mechitza and Lechi has the same din. And we're going to conclude that no, Mechitza, everyone agrees that it's a good Mechitza. Everyone agrees with Mechitza. And the Machlokas is exclusively by Lechi. Machlokas, so again, in the Havamina, they're equal. And then we're going to be saying, no, 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 no. Rav is going to have to admit by, by Mechitza, Zicha, it's because it is. It is a good Mechitza, despite the fact that it's Armin Me'elav. Just for example, guys, you have a sukkah of walls made from trees. Can you use the tr- walls of a tree for a sukkah? For the walls, yes, you could, right? I, it wasn't put there for the, that purpose. So you see that what? By Mechitza, you see it's good. So therefore, exclusively, Machloikis is exclusive by Lechi. Says the Gemara inside. Now, the following. Someone makes a sukkah between Ilanis, between the trees. The Ilanis, the fun I saw. And the Ilanis are, are the dolphin of the sukkah. Now, Pashtus, these, these trees were planted for trees. And they could be, you don't plant them at all. It could be in a forest. Ksheira, the kasha. So, Lechaira, it's a kasha and rav, and a riot, a baya. You didn't go ahead and make these trees for the purpose of, of a dolphin, yet they're good. So who so who I did lechi? And therefore it's Shver and Rav who says it's not good. Says No, no. Ken you're speaking about trees that were planted for that purpose. Since you can zetz ein, the trees planted for that purpose, it's not a cash on Rav. Since that possibly is a way to learn. In other words, it could be not, but it could be yes, and therefore it's not Shver and Rav. Tree, you're using, you have a clearing and you have trees around and you're using and you put schach on top of them. Again, 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 they don't have to be connected, they have to be within three tochem. They have to be, you know, you love it or, you know, maybe right here. You don't even say love it, you can say one close to the third wall is different. The ikra of a, the ikra of a sukkah is the schach, which has to be lishma. Again, that, 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 it's, 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 again, you do it as, as, opposed, the, as opposed to a movie. A movie. The Havamino Nusi is there's no difference in Mechitza and Lechi. Right? The, the, the Territ says there is, but the Havamino is. Okay, now. If they were planted for the purpose of being a wall, so if the Ik is the Schach, right? So what's the big spritz? 
I'll give you a reason why. Forget the kasha doifin part. We know on Yontif, you're not to go ahead and use a tree. You may have to go ahead and take a branch off. So I might think you're worried about that and you can't use it as a as a doifin, as a wall, commercial when you could. But not because the, well, you need the shmuel in the, 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 the walls. Pashma, Sham Elon Ageder Achitzakan. Okay, picture two or three. Let me let me let me pull up some a picture. Let me pull up a picture here. Share screen. Dun, dun. Okay. Six months in, you're finally a professional. How would you know? You haven't been there that, that much. I'm saying for the four months that I was well, two, well, well uh, don't give you four months. Uh, don't, uh, uh, four months. Uh, uh, <laughs> Penny, 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 you got to be quiet until maybe you vomit. <laughs> okay, guys, take a look. Check this out. Remember, we spoke about the halacha of pasi b'rois. We're gonna get we're gonna get into that bez Hashem much more in, in the second parak. Basically, you have a problem of drawing water out of a of a of a pit. That's a that's a that's what just hayachid, and you're gonna put it into the the ground. That's what just a rabbin. So the chachamim they made a tremendous kula. Of going ahead called Pasi Berois, the boards of Berois. Good. So now you have over here the picture, you have like a, a smorgasbord of different walls. Right? Chinese menu, right? The Aleph is the, the Aleph is the Aleph is not the egg, stop it. Aleph is, is the pit, Dalit is trees, the Gimel is a, a stone fence, and base is what we need is Mechitza of Konim. It's a Mechitza of Konim. Now, this Pashtas was not put up for the purpose of, of this. And nonetheless, it's considered a good mechitza. So it's a kasha on rubber. We're asking a question on rubber from that. How could that be a good mechitza, right? That's the question on rubber. Let's see it inside. It says the Gemara. Toshma ha'yisham ilon. You have there part of the pasin. You have a tree, a gather or a stone fence, a chitza as konim, or, or reeds that are next to each other. Nida nishim diyumid. It's going to have a lachar of a diyumid. It's a lachar of two pasin side by side. Now, pashtas does two those konim were not put there for the purpose of mechitza. So the chor has a din of mechitza bamei elav. It's a good mechitza. Ashan Rava, which says it should not be. Achanami myaskin on sheosam mitchil lekach. You made it for the purpose. Einachinami. The same terrace we gave above, since it was for that purpose. Therefore, what it's good. But einachinami, if it wouldn't be that purpose, it won't be good. Ihachi, if it was there, my kmash malon. What's the chiddush? In other words, what's the chiddush? I, I put it up there. What's the chiddush? So the kmash malon. Chitzas hakonim kana, the chitzas hakana kana pachas mishloisha tefachin. Can the boy mean Abai me Rava? Abai is going to ask from Rava the question. Guys, look at me. We know that there's a din of lovely. If you have a wall that's within three tefachim of the ground, we're going to say lovely. It comes down within three tefachim, right? It's going to come down. Let's say you have reeds that are apart. In order to create the create the wall. You have to go ahead and use the Allah of love. This is the question that Abayi asked Rava in Ezra Hashem we're going to get to. Good? So the Teretz is that you see from here that it has a din of love. Because we're allowing you to use this as a humid. We're allowing you to use this as one of the past in Birois. So the Chiddush is that even though you need the din of love to create the wall. Usually, guys, we have a Mechitza that's above three Tfachim. It's not good because it's Gedayim Baikimba. They can go through. But it's a mechitza when you're within three tefachim, so we'll view it as down. Do you say love it to create the wall in the first place? That's a shaila, and from here we see you do. That's that's the chiddush. Got you hear the difference? Okay, so it says the Gemara that kamash mon chitzas akonim kana kana pachas mishloish tefachim kideboy minei abayim eraba that like abayim is from from raba bes hashem later on in the mesech. Okay, let's go to a, a picture. Penny in the bungalow? That's the flood one. That's the flood one, yeah. Four four, huh? <laughs> okay, picture 205. Yeah. Uh, picture 205. This person is sitting underneath the tree, and the leaves are growing. They're within three of the ground. So, the is that he can carry underneath the tree. Why? Because there has a din of a mechitza. Now, it has to be that where it spreads out from the tree, it's at least 10 tefachim high. 
Because to be a mechitza guy, so it has to be ten tfachim. So that's the aleph over there in the picture. That it's at least ten tfachim high, and the base is within three tfachim of the ground. Good. Now, was this tree planted the shame walls? Obviously not. Yet nonetheless, it's considered what? It's nonetheless it's considered good walls. So what do you see? That mechitza is above me. I love having mechitza. A raya to wa to abaya and a kasha on rava. A raya to abaya and a kasha on rava. Okay, so pashas, I just closed that. I can't believe I did that. Stupid thing. No, Pinny, give me an eye in horror. I just messed it up. Okay. Anyway. Says the Gemara, let's see it inside. Even a mesech ala aretz, in a knife a gavoya mina aretz, if the knife is is not higher than the ground, you will talk in the talton pachta. Says no hachanam my skin is not to mechil the pach. You planted it for that purpose. Again, it's a doichet to get teretz, but since that teretz can be true, it's not an upshlag on rava. He hachi. If it's speaking, you planted the shame kach fellas. I got a problem. The taltal bekulai. You should be able to carry. Throughout the whole thing, Alama Amrav Huna Brady Yeshua, Ain Metatlum Boy Ella Beis Sasayim. Okay, there's a look like this. If in order to carry throughout an area, it has to have the mechitzas are good mechitzas. If the mechitzas are shvacha mechitzas, then you're limited to the area of the Beis Hamikdash from seventy and two thirds ama by seventy and two thirds ama. If again, if it's shvacha mechitzas, you should be going ahead. So now, an example of shvacha mechitza would be from one that's shesi and not erev. We're going to see the ropes only go one directional; they don't go in two directions. That's that's a shvacha mechitza. Another shvacha mechitza that it was hukif, but it wasn't hukif ladira. You surrounded it, but not for the purpose of of of, uh, of living in there. So over here also, people didn't go ahead and and, and plant this. Right, this is shvacha mechitza. So why you, you can carry throughout the whole thing? Why could you? Why you should be able to? Why should you be able to carry that whole thing? You should be limited. You're limited to. You should again. If you planted it for that purpose, it should be a good mechitza. If it's a good mechitza, you should be able to carry throughout the whole area of the tree. So why are you limited to seven to to base Why are you limited to that? Again, the limitation of of a base asayim is when it's a shvacha mechitza, when it's a weak mechitza. So you're telling me. That this was planted to lakach. Obviously, this is what is if it's planted lakach, it's a good mechitza. If it's a good mechitza, you should be able to carry throughout, yet you're limited. So what, what does the Gemara give a teretz? Okay. The Gemara's teretz is, is fascinating, and you should, it's a the idea you should know. After the Gemara mission, the have a dira shetashmashha la avir. It's a dira whose tashmish is for its ear. The whole dira shetashmisha la avir, aim it out by el abe society. Who's sitting underneath this tree? Is he living underneath this tree? The guy who's going to go underneath this tree is a guy who's working in the fields, and he needs a little he needs a little protection from the sun, so he's going to go underneath this tree. The whole purpose of this tree is is for people to be able to go into the airspace. It's not for the tree itself. It's made for the people outside the tree that you should be able to use it outside. Therefore, the hook if the 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 initial surrounding creation of the walls wasn't for the inside it was for the that you should be able to use the outside without getting sunstroke right in this case and therefore you go back in if it's a dira that's made with that in mind you're limited to base asylum that's and that's why so gemari is the kasha if you're telling me it was create, created lakach so it's a very good mechitza it's a very good mechitza and why you're limited base asylum because that's nothing to do with mechitza it has to do with purpose mechitza it's a good mechitza you planted it with kach. however the purpose of this is for the avir for the outside this that is limited to base asayim because that's a halacha by any dira that if it's made the shame avir if you have a hut right you're limited it's a big hut you're still limited why because the hut is made to get you out of the sun or whatever it is it's not made to live in what, what does that mean Rabbi? it's 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 not for it's not for itself it's not for itself it's not made for a dira it's made to get away from it's made for the to be able to use the avir, be able to use the outside of it. That's what it's made for. The ikr is not to live in there. The ikr is to have a place to go into when you get out from the outside. Like the bugan is correct. 
Tashma. Okay, let, let's let me give you a few more cases. I, I think I messed it up. No, I, I have it over here. Okay. We're, this guy, we're, fellas, we're, we're, we're new halacha. We we're going to touch on this masechta later on. Something called a, an erev tchumim, where you extend your your tchum two thousand amas. So we're, in order to go ahead and extend it, when when it comes Shabbos, you have to go ahead and it's called the koina shvisa. You have to acquire acquire a, a place. That place has to be this ten by four. Okay, it's discussing over here. Here you have over here. This is called a tal, and this guy's being koina shvisa over here. We, picture two hundred seven. Where are his mechitzas, guys? We're going to use the din of good asik mechitzta. Since this tal is at least ten tefachim high, in other words, it's an existing wall, fellas. Two hundred seven. It's an existing wall. I'll make it a little, a little bigger. Since it's an existing wall, that little black, that little dark guy. I'm sorry, I said black. That, that little dark guy over there, right? <laughs> right. Anyway, so this little, the little guy over there. This is ten tefachim high. We're going to say good asik, guys. We're going to view it as walls. So now, question: These walls that you have over here, they're not, made, not man-made. Over here, he's in a little ditch, but they're ten tefachim high. This, these are not man-made. These are these are these are natural. Here is over here, two hundred nine. Well, that's kind of could be man-made. So let's see the Gemara inside and let's see what we do with this information. Okay. And again, we're going to ask questions, and this is going to be the final upshlug on Rava and show that mechitza and lechi are two totally different dinam. That Mechitz and Lechi are two totally different dinam. Tashma, first white line. Shabbos Besail, he goes ahead and he's kind of Shvitza in a little hill. Shehu Gavaya Asara, which is high 10. Behu Me Arba Ames Viad Besasayim. It goes from four until Besasayim. Behim Beneka, it's in a little ditch. Shehu Omek Asara, which is 10th Fachim deep. Behu Me Arba Ames Viad Besasayim. Or the Kamek Etsura, you have Kwat Shibaylis Makifay Saisa. Mahalach has Kula Vechutzala. He's able to walk the whole length of it, outside of it, al for uh, 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 al payimama. Now, obviously, the Kainish Shvisi had to have walls. There had to be a, a, sh- <clears throat> a place of ten tefachim. Good. So you have a kasha. Uh, who made the walls of the? No one. Pl- no one made the ta- tal. No one made the ditch. That's 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 made by God. That's not made. made. You can't tell me it's like a tree that you made it. He tell me they were made for this. Very good. You get the comma. The grain can be like that. By the Talvaneka, what are you going to say? Ella, because of this question, guys, we're going to go ahead and and change gears totally. What are we going to say? Even Rava will admit that a Mechitza, when's the Machlaikis? The Lechi. Machlaikis is by Lechi. Okay, in other words, Initially, we thought that lechi and mechitzas have the same din. Now we're switching and saying no, lechi and mechitzas do not have the same din. In fact, lechi, in fact, lech, lechi as it, is, is, is where they argue. By mechitza, Rava would agree. Now, now Abaya le Abaya goes according to his reasoning. Dama lechi mishem mechitza. A lechi works out mechitza. So if a lechi, lechi works out mechitza, therefore it makes sense. Ha Mechitza hasui me'ela havi mechitza, as we just stated. A mechitza that comes by itself is a good mechitza. We just established that. The Rav le'tamei and Rav goes according to his reasoning. Dama lechi mishem heka, lechi is mishem heka. He avidi be'adayim havi heka, v'loi loi havi heka. A very very good story, guys. Very good story. Outside. Why why would, this, why would a lechi that's by itself not be good? Why why, why wouldn't it be good? Why wouldn't it be good? And the answer is is the you want to go ahead and establish something that will kind of remind you that you're going from Rosh Hashanah uh, into Rosh Hashanah. Remember, a lechi mid a mavi mid is Rosh Hashanah full fledged. The purpose of the lechi now we see it's a machlokes. Let's say it works as hacker. It's to make you recognize you made something to recognize the difference between the two. If you didn't make it, so therefore there's no hacker. It could be it's just there naturally. Let's say, I, I, I'll suggest, you look at something, you're used to looking at it. So you have an alleyway, and there's a tree growing right next to the alleyway. Why would you recognize that tree as a hecker? It's a naturally made thing. 
bishlam if you, if Avram Weinberg goes and puts up the board and ties it up, you have a true hekka, right? You have something rec- recognizable. Mashenkin is something that's naturally there. Oh, I mean, may love that that's not enough of a hekka. Mashenkin a bio holes. Forget about hekka. It's the mitzias of a wall. If you have a lefty and has the dimensions that makes the mechitza, who cares how it got there? It's irrelevant. As long as it's there, it creates the mechitza. And the melee, it'll be good. And it's a beautiful hesbet to the machlikis between a bayah verava. A mechitza is a mechitza. Who cares how it got there? You don't have to make the mechitza. You have to have a mechitza. A heka, you have to establish the hakara. You have to establish the reasoning. Seems to be a very, very nice svara. So each one goes according to the reasoning. Toshma, then we're going to ask now. Avne geder, hayoitzus minaged. Okay, now let's see what we got. Picture 210. Here, you have a you have a wall here. You have a wall here. You know, give this to Mendy and have him look at it. You see, he doesn't know what's going on. Okay. Picture 210. You have a wall, and there's an alleyway. There's an alleyway. And now, for, out of the wall come these, these bricks. Now, if the aleph between the aleph is less than three tfachim, this is a classic case of what, guys? Of a lechi, ha'oyme me'elav. The, the bricks weren't put there for the shem lechi. And now, since it's got, if it's going to have three tfachim, you'll be able to create a little little lechi over there. Let's see what's the din. Let's see it inside. Says the Gemara. Toshma, avne geder, avonim of a, of a, of a fence, hayotus min ha geder, they come out of the fence, moved dalazum, mizupachas mishleisha, if the bricks are separate from each other, three tfachim, ain't sarch lechi acha, you don't need another lechi, that's going to be good enough. <laughs> Who was that? What was that? Yeah, that sounded like the possible royce, but then the things that surround that. Oh my gosh. That's the whole trip we missed to this. Okay, I just, the uncle, I just got really buffer. Right in time. Yeah. Okay, good. Anyway, I, I don't know what that was. Okay. Oof. Well, whoever you are, you, you recorded for posterity's sake. <laughs> says the Gemara. <laughs> says, says, the, says the Gemara. <laughs> says the Gemara. <laughs> says, says the Gemara. L'chaira, that that's a classic case of what? Of a lechia oime me love. And you're saying it's a good lechi. Ain't sarach lechi acha. You don't need another lechi. So apparently you have a very, very good raya to what? To, to, to a rava and a kash and a baya. Says the Gemara, you built it for the purpose of a lechi. You built it for the purpose of a lechi. Pshita. So it's posh, it should be good. Now, if you want to make an extension on a house, you're going to put bricks that you'll be able to connect the bricks to. Or else it'll be flush up against the house. It'll be much stronger if you have bricks extending and then you can build out. So I might think that this was put there for the purpose of extending. Kamash Malon, that's it's a good lechi. Tosh Madatan Rav Chia. Kaisel, we had this earlier. Kaisel Shetzida Yechud Konis Mechaveroi. You have one Kaisel that one side is 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 a Konis. You're looking in from the outside and you see that the wall is is a recessed, but from the inside it looks equal. Whether it's equal uh, equal on the inside and not on the outside, or so whether you can recognize it from the difference in the inside and it's equal on the outside, not the mishum lechi. It's going to be going to go ahead and be judged as a lechi. I you didn't put it for a lechi, you built it for a wall. It's not a kash and lava. That near Mifnim Mishab Machutz need the Mishnah Lachi. That was a Shaila. There was a Machloikis. And, and so it's telling me a tremendous Kiddush that even though it looks flush on the outside, right? Even, even though it's, you could notice it only on the outside, it's flush on the inside, it still would be a good Lachi. So basically, Rav is held serve. Until now, we've been going ahead and questioning Rav, Rav is held serve. Tashmad, the Rav, again, now we're going to bring Rav as the final Raya, guys. 
the Rav have a Yosef Bahum Mavoy. Rav was sitting in a Mavoy. Have a Yosef Rav Huna Kamei. His Talmud was sitting in front of him. His Talmud was Rav Huna. And Rav Huna was sitting in front of him. And Omale Shame, and he said to his Shamis, Zeal Isli Kusa the Maya, go bring me a cup of water. At the Ossi, until he came the Shamis, Nafalachia, the, the, it fell down. The, 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 the lechi fell down. So now you don't have a ticket for the mavoi. And if you don't have a ticket for the mavoi, the rabbana, and it's also the carry. So he said like this, stop. Rav showed his shamus to stop. Come at Dochte, and he stood in his place because he couldn't carry it. Amr Rav Huna said, Rav Huna to Rav, does the master not hold lismach adikla? There seemed to have been a man-made a tree growing there. And it says, aren't you slamich on the deco? Which is, you know, again, so you have a lechi ha'om in the love. Now, obviously, guys, this is not going to be good because even a baya was moida. If you were slamich on another lechi, this one doesn't work. That was the Rashi we said earlier, right? Guys, that was the Rashi we said earlier. You weren't slamich on this lechi, and that's why you had another one. So if one fell down, obviously a baya would not say the tree is, is, a, is acceptable lechi because you put up another one. And everyone's moida when you're not saimich, then it's no good. Oh, so Omar, so, so, so said, said Rav to Rav Huna, Dami, Haimit Rabbana, Kemad Le Pirsha, and Shishmaita. You never learned before in your life. Me, Samchina, Allah, me, at Mo. Well, we saimich on this tree yesterday. We weren't saimich on this tree yesterday. We were saimich on the one that fell down. Now, Taima, the reason why the tree is not good, the Le Samchina, because we weren't dependent upon it. But if we were dependent upon it, have a lechi, a raya to a baya. The reason why the le- the tree is not good, it's a lechi. And the elav, but why is it not good? Because it was slimy on the other one that we put up. And it fell down. And the reason, only reason that the tree is no good is because we put up another one. Had we not put up the other one, the tree would have been acceptable. I, it's oymen me elav, it grew by itself, it wasn't for the purpose of a lechi. Alma, Allah is like what? Like a baya, not like rava. Lema Bible says the Gemara, no, maybe you have no raya. Lema a baya, rava, belay some kin of love. Maybe, maybe your whole premise that they began with is wrong. Maybe they argue, a baya says, even if you're not soymich, and rava saying, give you soymich, and then it would be a problem with a baya in this whole case. No, a some kin of love, habi lechi, lois hakadaitas. Why? The, the hahu barka, there was this porch, avi be bar chavi, that was in the asa bar chavi. They, they were arguing. There's a picture over here. I'll show you quickly. Here, 211, guys. Picture 211. You see, there's this. They, they, Abaya said this is a good lechi. Rava said it's not a good lechi. So you see, Abaya held when you sign the is a good lechi. Good? Okay, now, question is, who's the Allah in accordance with? Who's the Allah in accordance with? So if you take a look at Rashi, if you take a look at Rashi, says Rashi, Vifnu Gubad Kuli Shunai, three lines in the bottom, Abayah Shari Lemis Machaleha, Verova Asar, Alma Middesamchin Allah, Pligi, they argue even when you say Mech on the porch. So you know, so you can't, you see that what that the machlokas is usually doing you a summer. The hilchasak ke abaya baha says Rashi the halacha is like a baya in this case. The zuhi aches meyal kegam shalacha ke abaya. This is like the yal kegam yishlemidas eidin zaymim mafreya and lechi haba meelav alechad oimim meelav. This is the lamid in lechi haba meelav. Now, generally, guys, if you look to the Yal Kigams, for example, Daf Chav Beis in Bam Metzia, the Gemara brings the halachas like Abaya. Over here, Rashi brings it. Because be aware, if there's a machlokis, whether this is the Lamed in, in Yal Kigam. There's a Toysus in Ayin Beis in Kedushin, in Ayin Beis in Kedushin, who says it's a different din totally. It's a din in Nida, but it's not in the din of Lachim Bam Elam. This is Rashi Shita. In what, in other words, there's a Messiah that Yal Kigam. The question is, what does each of the acronyms stand for? What does the Lamed stand for? So Yish Lamidas, everyone agrees with. Eid Zoymim Lafreya, everyone agrees with. The Lamed 
Why does it stand for? Tosis says it stands for some din in in in, uh, in Leida, a din in, in in Nida, and Rashi says it's a din on Lechia or Melo. So this sugi is according to Rashi in the Al Kigam. Be aware, Tosis and Nafam and Beis and Kedushin says it's right. It's a different person. We're all good. Okay, very good. Now, the Chol Oisin Lachim. Now we know the the dimensions of, of the lachim, what about the material? What could you use? So he said, it could be weak, it could be strong. Either way, we're going to roll in, we're going to go ahead and see. It says, Even something that's alive. So, I'm, um, okay, the covered, the covered uh, person who's a, let, a tremendous let, I have to do this or else his life is not complete. He get his money's worth 212. There you go. You have a uh, you have a, a jack hazel, right? A donkey over there. It's, it's tied up against the wall. It's a good lachi, according to the Tanakama. It's a good lachi. Okay. Now, what happens if it's going to die and then it's going to fall down and won't be ten tefachim? This is the raid in Masech the Sukkah, guys. This is the raid. You might remember, guys. People learn. People don't learn Averin, Averin. They do learn Sukkah. And so in Sukkah they have this Gemara. You put this up. It's a wall. But if it's a good wall, ten tefachim high. What happens if it drops dead and, and it sinks? Well, you again. This is the Torah by using a donkey as a wall of a sukkah. Okay. Anyway, so uh, so this you can use as a lechi, provided it's against the wall. Remeya Isa and Remeya says you can't. Again, Remeya says you can't. Now we're going to bring in since we're discussing animals, Ruachayim will bring in other halachas about 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 animals. We're going to bring in other halachas. So, for example, it says. Uh, Umetama mishum goylel. It's metama mishum goylel vermei metar. Now we've had machloikas throughout shas what the goylel is. Rashi says the goylel is the top of the coffin that covers the mace. Toisa says it's the matseva. Toisa says it's the matseva. So, so it seems to be that when it's on top of the mace, it has the din of a goylel. If you hold that it's a wall, right? Then it's a you mitame. If, however, you hold like Remeya, Remeya would say it is Tahar. Remeya Metaira. Another din, and this is the one we're going to focus on. The Kosvin Alav Gite Noshim, and you could write a get on an animal. We had the Sugi and Gitten. You can write a get on the, the horn of a, of, a, of a cow, provided you give the cow to the woman. You can't cut the horn off. It says the Chasa Venasan. There can't be an action between. The kasiva, the writing of the get, and then the sina, the giving of the get. So if you would cut the horn, you'd have kasiva, kitsitsa, and the sina. So therefore, you'd have to give the whole whole animal. But you could write it. And Rabbi Yisegli Paisel says you cannot write it. Okay, we're going to focus on on the get part. Tanya Rameya Oimer. Kol anything that has life to it, anything that's alive, ain oisasa. You can't use it as a as a for a sukkah. That's our halacha. That's the next parak. You can't use the cow as one of the pasim for the, the pits in the in Rishus Rabbim. You can't use it as a goylel for a kever. You can't use it as a as a, as a coffin, as temporary as that is. You can't even use it to what? Write again. My time to be yes, Why can't you write a get on, on a cow's horn? Tanya, it says, the Chosavla Sefer, Krisis, Menasim, Biyad, of Shulkum, Basley. Sefer, Ainly Ella Sefer. I think you only have to write it on a clap, like a Sefer Torah. Minayel Rab is called Dover. How do you know to could anything that you could write a get on anything? Tamaloy, my Chosavla, it says, write for her. And the word Kasiva, we say, we call Makan. Whatever the Kasiva is, anything. Fred and Gemara, M. Cain. If a chos of law you can write on anything, my tamalim is safer. What seems to be the miat, the exclusion when it says safer, the you can write on anything. Why, why are you saying the word safer? It says, just like a safer is not it's lifeless, and it doesn't eat. So that's what Yosi had glee limud. The chos of law, he learns in the word safer. The safer teaches me that again has to be similar to a safer, and an animal is not similar to a safer. Because an animal is alive and eating, and an and a safer is is obviously not alive. Now the Rabbanon, who said you could write on an animal, what do they use the word safer for? What you know, it's what do they use 
Rabbi Yossi Aguil is worried that his lima, the word safer, but the Chacham and use from the word because the Chacham said you could write on an animal. Rabbona Miksiv Ba Sefer, it doesn't say Ba Sefer, Sefer Ksiv, meaning Chasa Ba Sefer is not speaking about the material you're writing on, it's speaking about the words you write. The Spiris Devarim Ba Almahu Da Asa. It comes to go ahead and say the Spiris Devarim tell you this Hariyat Mugoresh Asli Mikali and the whole Parsha of Get, the whole whole Lushan of the Get. So it's, it tells us what is happening, but not necessarily on what is happening. Rabbonon, the Rabbonon, hai v'chos of la my darish bay. What are they darshan? They darshan, obviously don't darshan that you can write, you, you know, to, to limit you. Haumi boile, b'ksiva miskareshes. She goes ahead and she's she's divorced with k'siva, b'ena miskareshes b'kesef. But she's not divorced with kesef. In other words, you might think that just like she goes in with kesef, she goes out with kesef. Salkarei chaminon, since we make a hekish between Yitzhi and Havaya, Mahavaya Bekesav and Yitzhi Bekesav. This is the most famous hekish in, in, in Sefer, Sefer Noshim, guys. Havaya means Havaya means Kedushin. Kisi Yelish, Loshan of, of Havaya. And Yitzhi is Loshan of Gerishin. So I would say you makish Havaya Yitzhi, just like you you, uh, you get go in with money, so too you go out with money. Sometimes the get guys can cost you a lot of money, right? Uh, so that you go out yeah, with money, but obviously it's not the get that's going to make the garrison. It's the it's the it's the get that makes the garrison. So, so it's the safer that makes the chosav. Ma ha'avai b'kesef yitzi. The kesef k'mash mon. The chosav it has to be something written. But Yosi Aglili high svar me no. Since Yosi Aglili says you can write a get on on everything. So the chayyur, why does he use what? The, how does he know you can't divorce with kesef? So me no. Lei naf kolim is safer krisis. It says safer kursa. Safe creases means to cut. It cuts the kedushin. So safer kursa, it's the act of the safer that cuts. Vein dava acha kursa, but nothing else can cut. Meaning kesef can't cut. Rabban and high safer creases me boile. What do they need it for? The dava karius may not no. When a get is given, it has to be a full cut, no strings attached. Kedatanya. Harizek yitei chamanas shaloi tishti yayin. This is your get on menas that you don't drink wine. Amenas shaloi teich libeis avicha loilam. This is your get on menas that you never go into daddy. That's not a good get, fellas, because you have strings attached. Shifa, you still have a hold on her. You still have something to do with her. That that's not safer creases means you have nothing to do with her. Therefore, therefore, yom. If you make it conditional upon thirty days, I was a creases because after thirty days it'll be a no. It'll be void. Where does he know this thing from? When it should have said mikaris, it says karis. It could have said mikaris, but it says creases. Rabbi and karis creases like that. Okay. So that's a, that's the that's the dialogue by get. This is where get getting meets Ayurvin. Okay. Uh let's see a nice a nice Mishnah. Yeah, let's let's just do the Mishnah, then we'll, we'll call it a night. Let's see the Mishnah. It's a good Mishnah. Yeah, this is the famous one. There you go. It, it's Shabbos at the campsite. And you have all you have your camels, they're kneeling. You have their the base is their uh, is their saddles, the gimel is the blankets, the dalit is the cargo. You have a few sticks up there, you got a little treasure chest over there, you got some more camels in the back. As long as as long as there's more open, close spaces than open spaces, this is considered a full-fledged machitza, and you can carry within this, it's a full-fledged and you can carry within there on. On Shabbos, you carry with them on Shabbos. Well, let's see the Mishnah. Shiyare, a caravan, shechonsa bebika, that it takes it takes in camps in a valley, the kifua, and you go ahead and surround it, kli behema with all the kalim of the animals, the tatlim besaycha, you're able to carry throughout the whole area. Ubovachi hegeder gavaya asar tfachim. Provide all those materials that we mentioned, they're at least 10 fachim high. Again, by now we all know that a wall has to be 10 fachim high. And this hole should throughout should not be larger than the than the solid parts. The hole should not be larger than the solid parts. Right? Any one hole that is less than 10 is considered a pesach. If neshika pesach. Yes, and we can more than this is usher. Now, this is a classic case of 
Mishnayis somehow that you know a lot about showing up later. We all know, I've been hacking you about a pirza. If you have a mavoi that's more than 10, guys, you have to memay it. Why? Because more than 10 is a pirza. It's not a pesach. So finally the Mishnah tells you this din over here that this is the din of pirza, that it's, it's 10. So there's Hashem, we'll pick it up here tomorrow night.